A woman diagnosed with COVID-19 fights for her life as her family hopes for a Christmas miracle. Knowing that I'm about to lose her, it breaks my heart, but I know for a fact that God has the last say so. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with the family of 50-year-old Cheryl Bacon tonight. She joins us live from UF Health to show us how the family is coping this holiday season. Corley. Lauren, I spoke with one of Cheryl Bacon's daughters who says this has been a tough year. Her father passed earlier this year and now on Christmas, her mother is here at UF Health on a ventilator. This family, she says the woman she calls her mother and who raised her since she was 15 is in intensive care at UF Health battling COVID-19. She's not awake. Um, her heart stopped um, late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. Her heart had stopped. Um, they performed CPR. They got her heart back. You know, they brought her back to life. Booth says 50 year old Cheryl Bacon was diagnosed with the coronavirus last week. She says Bacon previously had issues with fluid around her heart and lungs. Bacon has always been a strong female figure in Booth's life. She says seeing her struggle is heartbreaking. She's the one that took me in under her wing. She's the one that helped me, you know, through school, helped me graduate, just basically helped me be the woman and the mother that I am today. Since Bacon couldn't be home for Christmas, Booth's family chose to help others who are also facing challenging times by passing out food to the homeless. I somewhat didn't even want to focus on myself. I just wanted to focus on the people that actually needed something. Booth says she is praying that her mother can come home. I will tell everybody right now, you know, if you have your parents, cherish them. You know, if you have family members, loved ones, cherish them because, I mean, this was really unexpected for all of us. She hopes next year fewer families will be separated from their loved ones on Christmas due to COVID-19. Booth hopes her mother's story will be a wake up call for others that COVID-19 is real, especially for those who are immune compromised. She encourages everyone to follow the CDC guidelines to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Reporting live from UF Health, Corley PL Channel 4, The Local Station.